hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i am going to be showing you how to install debian and the desktop version of debian on your android phone if you're new to this channel make sure you click the subscribe button below and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out when we make new videos let's begin all right guys welcome back so the first command we're going to be entering is apt update and an apt upgrade this command is used in updating and upgrading tamox repositories and of course the tamox that set up that storage command the tamox that set up that storage command is used in giving storage permission to tamox all right but i already have storage permission so i'm not going to be doing that again so i'm going to click on no but if you're using tamox for the first time you should give storage permission to tamox all right so now to install debian the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install payroot distro so to install payroot distro you're going to be using the command apt install payroot dash distro all right now after installing payroot distro you can check the list of payroot distros there is by typing the command payroot dash distro list all right Period that's distro list, and as you can see, there is uh, open source, there is Manjaro, there is Fedora, there is all of that. But for this tutorial, our, our focus is on Debian, all right? So, to install Debian, we're going to be using the command period distro install Debian, all right? Period distro install Debian. And I'm going to click on enter. This is going to take a while to install though. You're just going to be patient, all right? Now, after Debian has been successfully installed, you're going to log in by typing the command period distro login Debian, all right? So, or you can just copy it from here just like this. Period distro login Debian, okay? And I'm, I'm going to paste that right now. And I'm going to click on enter. And yeah debian has been installed successfully all right and we have successfully logged into debian so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to update our debian repository so to do that we're going to type the command apt update all right now after updating your debian repository the next thing we want to do is um we want to create a user on our debian repo so to do that i'm going to type the command add user bed so you can use your name all right as for me i'm using bed okay so you're going to be asked to enter a password enter your password and type a new password and i'm filling the details so you can just skip through them and then you click on yes the information is correct all right now um after installing after adding user to your debian repo the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install sudo nano all right so by to install sudo nano you're going to type the command apt install sudo nano all right and then f and y and you're going to click on enter okay now after sudo nano has been successfully installed we're going to type the command nano forward slash etc forward slash sudo as all right nano forward slash etc forward slash sudo us and um you're just going to do the exact thing that i'm doing here all right so you're going to scroll down and um you're going to locate root root right here okay and um you want to copy everything in that root line okay so let me just copy this let me just copy this right now copy and um you're going to you're going to just click on enter and go to the next line you're going to go to the next line and you're going to paste the exact word that you just copied right there you're going to paste it okay and now we're just going to navigate back to the beginning and um we want to change this route to the username that we just created which in my case is bed all right so i'm going to change this route to bed and um, now we're going to save this sudo as back all right and then we're going to exit okay 
that is that about that now after doing that the next command we're going to enter okay let me just let me clear the we want to enter the command subed all right now you're going to enter the su command and the username that you just created in my case which is bed so i type su bed all right let me clear the space now now the next thing we're going to do is um we're going to update our, our sudo repository to do that you're going to be typing the command sudo apt update all right sudo apt update all right so you're just going to be prompt with this we trust you have received the usual lecture from the system you're going to be asked to enter your password just enter your password and um, the update should be successfully done now after that um we don't want to be logging into debian every time by typing the command period this true login debian so to make it easier for us to log into debian i'm going to exit now and i'm going to go back to my tamox home page all right now in my tamox home page i'm going to type the command um, cd dollar prefix and um, i'm going to cd into my bin folder so to do that you're going to type the command cd prefix forward slash bin all right for slash bin you're going to click on enter and um you're going to type the command nano debian all right so i'm going to type the now in your nano home page you're going to write the command p root dash distro login dash dash user and i'm um, going to write the name of the user which in my case is bed and you're going to write debian so now you're just going to save this by typing ctrl o ctrl o which is to save and ctrl x to exit so now you're going to type the command chmod plus x debian all right this com this command is going to give debian storage permission okay so this debian we just created right there so if i type the debian command now as you can see it logs me directly into my my bed user account on debian okay so now after doing this the next thing we're going to do now is um let us just head forward to installing our <coughs> desktop version so i'm going to paste this command in the description below check the description for this command this is going to take a lot of time to install just make sure you're patient and follow all the prompt so it has been successfully installed now but we need to still install some other packages so i'm going to type ls so that you see this now to install this the apt xfce4.sh we're going to type the command sudo then sudo bash all right and then um, you want to copy this you're going to copy this just check the description below all right the explanation for everything is already in the description sudo bash and you're going to paste this all right and i'm um, going to click on enter you're going to be requested to enter your sudo password of course you're going to enter your password and um, you want to follow the prompt be patient for this to load all right okay and um you will be required to enter a password all right create a new password and verify the password no no don't enter a real link password okay now as you can see it says our server has been has been launched in the local host so you're going to connect to your vnc viewer now you're going to connect to vnc viewer okay vnc viewer and um, of course, we're going to create a new account. VNC Viewer. And um, you're going to click on the plus button right here. And you're going to type localhost. Localhost. And um, of course, we're using the server one. So we're using the first server. So you're going to type one. And you're going to click on next. And um, you give it any name of your choice. As for me, I'm giving it Debian Desktop. All right. And I'm going to click on done. <clears throat> and you're going to click on connect. Okay. You're going to click on okay. And I'm um, going to enter the password you created when installing the desktop version on your Tamox. All right. So as for me, the password I used was 123456. So I'm just going to enter my password and click on done. Oh failed to execute child process the boss launch all right so we're going to install the boss on our tamox to do that we're going to type the command sudo apt install the boss dash x11 all right 
and um, you're going to enter your password so make sure you remember your password and carefully enter your password so you don't make any mistakes okay and um the box 11 all right it has been installed already so <coughs> and, um, we're just going to start again we're going to launch the vnc server again okay enter your password and please make sure you remember the password you are using and check the description below for the correct commands that you're going to be using okay and watch this video to the end so that you understand how to, how to use these commands all right so okay our local server has been launched so let us log in back to debian and see if it opens this time around i'm just going to enter my password one two three four five six i'm going to click on done and as you can see we are now logged into our debian desktop version but i do not like the way the desktop is as you can see it doesn't fit my screen it is just like about half of my screen so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to change the geometry of my vnc server now to do that i'm going to go back to my tamox and um i want to type the command nano okay so let me first kill the server first vnc server that stop let me kill the server all right so i'm going to type the command nano forward slash user nano forward slash user forward slash loop forward slash bin forward slash vnc server and i'm going to click on enter okay i'm going to click on enter and then um, you want to scroll down all right you want to scroll down and locate geometry you want to locate geometry oh there it is as you can see so my phone is using the geometry 1600 by 720 so i'm just going to change it to 1600 by 720 okay and i'm going to click on enter and uh, that has been done all right so there's one more geometry to change and that geometry is for our vnc server that start command so we're going to change our directory to the vnc server directory now and after that we proceed so to do that you're going to type the command cd4 slash user 4 slash local 4 slash bin all right for cd4 slash user or slash local for slash bin okay if i type the ls command as you can see we have vnc server that start and we have vnc server that stop so we're going to edit this vnc server that starts to do that you're going to type the command nano all right nano and um, you're going to paste vnc server that start and I'm going to click on enter. So we want to change the geometry of this also. So we're going to just change the geometry to 1600 by 720, which is the size of my screen. So make sure you, you, you observe the size of your phone screen and change it to the exact size. You can know the exact of your phone screen, the exact size of your phone screen by taking a screenshot and checking the details. You're going to see the size of your screen there, right? So, um, I'm just going to clear this now and just start the VNC connection again. VNC server. Okay. Just start. I'm going to create the connection again. All right. And as you can see, our local server has been launched. So let me go back now. Let me go back okay it says the previous connection closed unexpectedly of course it did i closed the connection so we're going to log in again now okay we're going to click on okay we are going to enter your password in my case it is one two three four five six and um there you go there you go as you can see it looks much better now and it is now fit to my screen so I prefer this to the to the previous this thing. So this is how you install Debian desktop on your Android phone. So now you can just basically you know continue with your says with your settings, access your files and all of that. So please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications to enjoy more video tutorials like this. So. If you encountered any error while trying to install this, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply you as soon as I can, alright? 
and um, if there is a video you need me to help you with or something a challenge you're facing while installing this also let me know in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe and make sure you check the description for the link all right to all of the commands i used in this video so that you can install this exactly the same way i installed it on my phone all right thank you for watching and um, see you in the next video goodbye